it into my heart. Okay, is this reminding anybody of that toy we all had yep. way back when? And right? you see there's too much. That little pinch yep. is too much. So I'm going to put a little olive oil on this. And I'm going to take, the I'm going to take it off. And olive oil is a magic ingredient. Magic. Do you think you can use too much olive oil, Jackie? Uh, you can. It's like pie mm -hmm. crust dough. You know, if you put too much mm -hmm. oil in pie crust dough, it gets crumbly. Yeah. You want to put it not on the clay, never on the clay. You want to put it on your fingers and on the tools. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. okay. So here's the heart. And look how easy this is. I'm going to take this. You see this? And I'm going to bend it. Because it's silicon. And I'm silicone. going to pull it right out. And there you go. And there oh, I go. easy is and that? And if you want, if you really want, because this has never been used before, it's not my other one, you can put a little bit of olive oil in it the first time to kind of condition it and to make it easy. And what happens if you screw it up? Oh my gosh, if you screw it up, look what I'm doing. I'm just rolling it up again. It's just clay. It's clay. Yeah. If you don't like what you're doing, do it again. Yeah. And I put it right there again. And look, even though it air dries, do you see any drying? No, it's not drying out fast at all. And this is, this is the piece already done and dried. And it looks, there you go. Look there you at go. that so picture. Easy. It's exactly the same. But what you guys are seeing is you got your molds, you got your little designs, you just pop the clay. It literally works just like clay is supposed and to I work. And I want you all now to see how easy this, this um, the ring shank is. Yeah. I'm going to roll just making a roll, everybody in the world has made a coil with Play-Doh or some other kind of modeling clay. And I'm just going to make a little bit of a roll here, and then I'm going to take this mold, the border mold. And pick whatever design you pick want. Pick whatever design, a little olive oil. You've got to remember, olive oil is your friend. Yeah, it really makes a difference. And I'm going to just push this in. I'm not using a special tool. I'm not using anything but my finger, pressing this in. Okay, and how long does it have to be? I'll tell you how long it has to be. It has to be long enough. Look at that. Look at that texture. Now, see, is that awesome? Now, and think about this, guys. Now, Jackie's, Jackie is making a ring out of this. That could be the start to whatever kind of design you want to make with that. Yeah. You can make all kinds of things. You can leave it a cylindrical pendant. You can make earrings. Those forms, those longer molds, I mean, it's completely up to you, but you get to see the idea of how this works. And yep. now you're going to put it around your mandrel. You go from underneath. And the DVD will tell you how to size the ring. Right. You size the ring a size and a half up. If you're going to have it ended as a seven, what size does it have to be? An eight and a half. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. What I'm doing here, i got to make sure you guys can see this, is I am rolling and making a little scroll you out of the top You can see that scroll. Yeah. You can see ash. Yeah. There you go. You see the scroll? It's just like rolling up a piece of paper. And see, it ends up, I'm going to put both of our hands in here. Jackie is not an octopus. That is my there hand. There you go. So I have this scroll and I have it on the piece of non-stick work surface, okay? And then what you do is you're going to hold this for a minute while you're using your hair dryer. And that's as easy as it is, a hair dryer. You don't want to use anything hotter than a hair dryer because it can start to burn out your binder. Yeah. Oh, that's a okay. good point. Yeah, so here we go. Now, and the, and the reason that she here. sized that up just a little bit is... Just a, like this. Is, is a, yeah, just... Just right. oh, we can pretend we can make sounds. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's the sound of the hair dryer. That's hilarious. That's so hilarious. you now, do this, and just for a couple minutes, because yeah. then it sets and then it won't move. Yeah, yeah. You'll have to dry this, though, at least 10, 15 minutes, because you want to make sure that there's no moisture whatsoever in this before you fire it. Now, now, what's okay. interesting about this is Margo and I were talking about this. Margo and I were talking about how impatient both of us are. Yeah. It's a because you want to see what it's going to be like, all right? And you want to start firing. Get make sure it's dry at this point. And in the DVD, and Jackie can tell you also how to tell if it's dry or not. Mm -hmm. You can literally take your little cutting tool and put it lay it on top of your cutting tool. So you right would lay here, it right on here, lay right, it right while on it's there. Still hot. It's yep. important that it's still hot from and the you, hair dryer. From the hair dryer, and you count to ten. And if you pull this away and there's a condensation ring here, you know there's too much moisture in it. It's got to be bone dry. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. And once I tell you, you'll understand. If there's moisture in here and I heat this, 
Moisture turns to what when you boil it? It turns to steam. And what's right. the steam going to do inside your piece? Escape. It's going to burst it. And you know yeah. what I call it? I call it like little alien babies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where it bursts out and you've got these little alien babies. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure it's totally bone dry. Yeah. Once it's dry, next step. Yeah. I'm going to take this, which is now bone dry. These are the two pieces I've got, okay? I've got the heart that I did and I've got the base. And look how fast this has been so far. And before I put them together, this is the one thing you have to remember. You do everything before you fire it. Yes. You do everything in the dry stage. In my DVD, I say 10% in the wet stage, 80% in the dry stage, because it can't be too dry. You could put this aside for a month and come back to it, and it will still be in perfect condition. So this is where you take your sanding pads, and you can sand it a little bit get it nice and smooth, get your files, and remember to save all of your stuff that comes off and put it back in your uh, paste jar. So glad you said that. So once you're done, now I have these two pieces. So, so every bit of this is important. The every dust, bit. everything. Yeah. All of this is important, yeah. folks, and reusable. So look how easy this is going to be to put together. I'm going to take my syringe and it's just like it's just like the toy mm -hmm. right any the, how would you get the toy to stick together with more clay with more clay yeah so see this I'm just putting a little bit look how much is left I use the tiniest amount and I'm gonna put this on top so easier easy. than regular clay for sure so much easier than regular clay. I'm Good gonna great. push and you see how it's kind of come out the yep. sides? Well, yep. you know how easy that is to get the uh, paintbrush, yep. which I have right Sorry here. Sorry about that, my and friend. And it's okay. The paintbrush, which is included. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to smooth that out. I mean, why, you know, why leave it all messy? And that's a technique you're going to use a lot. So it, 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 it's the water it, it's, will correct many errors. And I have to tell you, it's all water soluble. Everything yeah, yeah. in the kit is water soluble. It just washes up. Yeah, and comes if you right get, off. If you get clay on everything, you put your fingers in a little bowl of water, mm -hmm. and guess what you do? You recycle it. You evaporate the water and then put that back in your paste jar. I'm so glad you said so that. So you never I, waste anything. I have wasted so much. I, I yeah, don't even no. want to tell you how much that kills me. Okay. I know how much I wasted. So here it is, and it's going to dry again, and I'm going to put my hair dryer on it. Or I don't have to have a hair dryer. I could just leave it out if I want to leave it out, and that's going to dry. Yeah. The next step is ready to be fired. And because this is the first one, and nobody ever believes me when I say this is going to be fine silver. They say, no, it's clay. Can I break it now? Oh, yeah. If I drop this, it would break. I could crunch it up. I could put it in my paste. It, right now, it is clay with silver in it. And what you want to turn it into is pure silver. Now, if it's dried, Jackie, mm -hmm. it's, it's not reusable. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. If I decided that I just didn't like this and I want the clay back, it'll take you a little bit. You've got to be patient, but you're going to put it in a little Ziploc bag with some moisture. With some moisture and walk away for a day, come back, and you can start molding, melting it again. I, I, I'm telling you guys, this is chemistry. It's fascinating. It's, it's fascinating. So okay. if you get it to that point and, and you just say, I don't, I don't like it, then start all over again. Start all now, over again. here's the best part. Okay, guys. Don't you want me to fire it for you, Jackie? No, oh no. No, <laughs> remember, we said no torch for Sherry. No torch for Sherry. It is, but it's supposed to be childproof. You I'm don't need to flip it over. You don't need to do anything. What I suggest, when you're firing it for the first couple of times, you don't want to get distracted. You really want to concentrate on this. You want to dim your lights in whatever room you're going to be in because you want to see the glow. Yes. This is all about the color of the metal. I'm going to turn this on. There's the other good thing about this torch, it's got a child safety catch on yeah, it. Yeah. So when you start it, you have to push this down and then push this in. And, and let us tell you, this is the same torch that you would use if you're making creme brulee. Okay, it's basically a little handheld kitchen it's torch. It's a handheld kitchen torch. And, and it is included. Okay, now, it is included in the If kit. you watch this, you're going to see a little smoke and flame. People go crazy. They'll pull it back and everything. No, no, no. This is the binder burning off. You is see this, this amazing? And that's it. If you blink, you're going to miss it. The binder is burning off, and now what I've got to do is keep this entire thing heated. And I can't start timing until it starts glowing. And when the lights are dimmer than they are now, I'm going to see if I can. Is there any way for us to dim the lights, I, folks, you can so they can see, see this? You can see the glow a little bit. A little bit. 
But Jeremiah, will we be able to demo? Yeah, that and it's a timer. You, oh, okay. oh, all right. They're doing it. Yeah, they're going to time. <gasps> That's so that cool. Glow? It's awesome. I mean, it right is now. awesome. So we're going to start to time this for how right long, now. Jackie? Two yeah, minutes. Two minutes. Okay. It's now two minutes. Now this is 10 grams of clay. Remember, a little bit less because I still had leftovers. So this is 10 grams of clay. And um, it takes about two minutes for 10 grams of clay. But the kit does have suggested times oh, just based on yes. different weights and how much you yes. put in there. It's it does in have. the uh, DVD, I believe, and it's yep. also in the book. And uh, yeah, and I think it's if, on a sheet. And it's on it, the sheet. Yeah, it could be on the sheet too. Yep. Yep. If you, if, if it looks like it's getting shiny or shimmery, it means you're too close, you're going to melt it. Because the melting point of silver is 1,761 degrees, and this is 2,000 degrees. So the distance, the distance between your piece and the torch is what controls the color of the metal. Really? You want to keep it orangey. You don't ah. want it to be bright cherry red. If it's orangey, it's perfect. If you lose it, you go closer. If it's too bright, you go back. Okay. We've had one minute now. Now, Jackie, say that again. The 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 distance from the torch is going to determine the color right, of because, the metal. Right. Because okay. if you get too close, that means you're going to heat it up too, too fast and too hot, yeah. and it's going to melt. Yeah. If you pull it back, that means that the heat's going to dissipate, and you're not going to have enough heat, and you're going to lose your glow. Yeah. So you have to keep, that's why the lights are dim, that's why you keep yeah. the lights dim. Yeah. But, you know, two minutes is not that long in, no. the, in the scheme of things. No, Making uh -uh. a fine piece of jewelry, two minutes is nothing. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's you unbelievable. probably so couldn't see that. You know what, the shrank, could you see it shrank? It shrank 8 to 10 percent, and most people can't even tell. And that's why you size it up a little bit if you're making that's a ring. That's why you size and, it and up. And that's how later on, when we're making pieces, and we see us put gemstones in them, it'll shrink up and hold the gemstone. Right. Now, Jackie, can you explain chemically? It's time now? It, the Wonderful. time is up. That's it. That's it. Now, remember, don't touch it. Don't yeah, touch do it. Do not it's touch hot. this. Do not touch it at this point. Okay. If you absolutely have to, then use tweezers. Tweezers. But now this is touching it, right? Only if, yeah, only if it doesn't have gemstones in it or yes. doesn't have anything that's going to crack. Right. So I can quench this in water. Listen. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. People hear that and they go, oh my God, I can't believe awesome. it. That's, it's awesome. That's the heat dissipating. Immediately it's cool. Look at now that. Now see that? Now it she's touching from, it. It went from 1,700 degrees, 1,600 degrees to nothing. It's, it's incredible. Now, Jackie, this, there was a chemical reaction that happened. Well, actually, it's not a chemical reaction. It's called sintering. Yeah. And what happens is the binder burns out, and then you leave holes between the silver particles. And sintering means that the silver particles have combined together, and they've tightened up together, yeah. and they are no longer have spaces in them, and they've bound um, chemically. Really? They've bound together. Okay. So, so you don't melt it. Okay. But you bind you it. You bind it. And now look. See? Now it's no longer, it's no longer clay. Now. Watch this, because this is fascinating. Look okay. at the color of this. You now see watch it's white? This. Yeah. I'm going to tell you why it's white in a minute, but I have to show you. I'm going to brush it, stainless steel brush, right? Now I've got to do it so they can see now, this the And best. again, guys, you, the kit, the starter kit, if you're just joining us, is $199.99. There were only a thousand of these. Almost 400 of them are gone. Okay, so this this could sell out in this show. Oh Jackie. yeah, if you don't get it now, yeah, and that's it you for may 2010. Never. Okay, that's it for 2010. And don't forget, you keep all the tools. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's you the don't. Only, the only thing that is uh, expendable in this, the only thing that you're going to run out of in this is the clay. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And you've got, and there's more clay at jtv.com forward slash art clay. But you've got enough clay that comes in the kit to make three to five different items. It just depends on what you make. Now, what I'm doing here is I brushed it all. You see now it's silver. The reason it was white, the white is not ash. It's not a coating on it. The white are the silver particles standing straight up. The more you flatten them, the more you shine them, the shinier the